Royer's Round Top Cafe is iconic. It's legendary. Well, now you don't have to go to Round Top, although you should, to get your fix from Bud the Pie Man. I'm with Bud right now, talking all things pie, and we're talking about it in Austin. Yes, thank you. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, glad to be here. This is just too cute, and it's the same wonderful, fabulous pies. It is. About two years ago, my daughter Tara, who makes it all happen and does everything, she opened up the Pie Haven across the street from the cafe. Right. And it was a, it's a full-blown espresso coffee bar and all things pies, from pie muffins, pie shake, pie shakes. Think about that. A slice of pie, scoop of ice cream, a little milk. Sounds oh my good gosh. to me. And so instead of going 80, 800 feet across the street to the Pie Haven, we now go 80 miles to Austin. So it's the same thing. Well, no, it's great. And, and this, if you've been to the cafe in Round Top, you know, it, it's you wait outside to get a seat. I mean, it's always hustling, bustling, crazy. This is aptly named Pie Haven, right? Oh, yes, yes. This is Tara. This is Tara looks at this as a respite, a haven, place to slow down. You know, the, the, the cafe is, is funky and loud music, 60s music, and stuff all over the place, and activity and high energy. This is a haven. Yeah. This is whimsical. This well, pie is should be savored, right? Yes. You don't want to slam it down. You just want to enjoy it. Some of your most popular pies. We'll save my favorite to last. We'll save this to the last. Uh, we have a new one called Sweet and Salty, which is chocolate, caramel, and sea salt. Yum. Oh, my gosh. And the Texas trash has got chocolate chip, coconut, uh, caramel, crushed pretzels, and graham crackers. That one's unbelievable. You slice it up in little slices and put it in the freezer, and then you got like little frozen candy bars. Yum. And then our junk berry, which is blackberries, raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, peaches, and apples. And of course, our chocolate chip. That's the claim to fame. That's where it all yeah, started. Yeah, it is. And that's been an incredibly popular yes. recipe on my, yes. on my site, Good Taste TV. Now, we're actually going to be getting the recipe for this. Tell me about this amazing apple pie and how it came about. This is called my, not my mom's apple pie. Okay, this is with Granny Smith apples, uh, brown sugar and pecan, and heavy whipping cream. It's delicious, and then topped with brown sugar pecans. And uh, my mother is a great cook. Uh, I give her that. Uh, she, but 20, back in the beginning, 27 years ago, I had asked her for a recipe for a pie, uh, apple pie. So she sends me this recipe. She finally comes out to the restaurant two, three years later. She lived within 30 minutes from us, but finally comes out a couple of years later. Can't wait to share this with, it, with her. Now I've added a little more to it, a little more brown sugar and whipping cream to it. It's, it just made it better. And, and so as soon as she tasted, she said, oh, that's not my recipe. And I said, you're right. <laughs> it's aptly been named ever since, not my mom's apple pie. And it is amazing. I mean, Bud is gracious and he's sharing the recipe for all of us. Perfect in time for the season and all. Bud, good luck with Austin Pie Haven. Oh, thank you Love much. It.